Coming up, I hold an umbrella. Why is he doing that? Then act as an exhaust hanger. Oh, it's gonna scrape. And of course, scraping sounds. Aloha from the tropical island of Germany. Yeah, no. Despite the terrible weather, today is actually a really good day because I'm getting a free car. And it just happens to be my favorite kind, a very broken and neglected BMW. A while back, incredibly nice subscriber from the Netherlands reached out about his E32 750IL that he was thinking of scrapping, but wanted to see if I could use it for parts. Well, yes. But here's the spicy sauce bit. It's not just any E32 750IL, it's the top of the line, Highline model. I'll explain in a bit what that means. Now, I don't really know what to expect. I don't even know how many kilometers it has. It's a 1991 model finished in Bordeaux of a black leather interior. It's been sitting for eight, nine, ten years, parked due to an electrical problem. I'm strongly against scrapping classic cars, so I promised the owner that I'm gonna do my best and try and put this one back on the road, if feasible. Anyway, the car is about to be delivered any moment, and I just wanna say a very big thank you to Sir Harm from Hasselte. I hope I'm pronouncing that right for giving me this fine automobile. Let's find out what we have here. So I just got a call, he's coming in five minutes. It's several hours later, because traffic, polizai, and thankfully it stopped raining, so we can see what we got. Any minute now, I'm getting more broken stuff, and I'm excited about it. What's wrong with me? So one of these days I'm gonna get a mint car, but today is not that day. Anyone want some fishermen? No? Okay. Is that him? Is that him? No. Whoa! That might be it. That might be it. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. And of course, my Polish friends again. Reliable car at the front. Look at that! Oh! The exhaust has fallen off. I suppose that's not good. Hello. Hello. That is a long trailer. I think he's good. He's good. No, he's not good. There's plenty of space here. No, 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 not good. Nope. And he's going straight into. Nope. 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 Again. Nope. It is a fairly big gate. Nope. Nope. No, still not good. Well, I guess we're gonna push. But who am I to judge? I wouldn't be able to do it either. No. No. There's a big gas station over there. Go turn around, and then you can just park on this side, and we can push this easier. Where did he go? Did he get lost? Oh no, he's backing up again. Why is he doing that? Maybe this is his first day on the job. No, not like that, then the truck can go by. No, that's not a good trucks can, can go through here. You have to go back. That's good. So here she is. Isn't she pretty? Miner's cuff. Styling for original wheels. SLS is down. Oh, that's that's heavy. That's moldy. Let's close that. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. How is this going to work? I don't. Oh, it's completely collapsed. What am I supposed to do here? So that's going to be an issue. It's completely on the ground. DDR. Deutsche Demokratische Republik. That's peculiar. Hello. The amount of mold in this thing, but look at that, the doors are not rusty. Oh, I can't even. <coughs> yeah, that's, woo! That is strong, moldy smell. But the interior is actually really nice. Look at that seat. So I guess I can hold the exhaust yeah, and then, yeah. I guess that's happening. Oh, that's good. Well, this is the first for me, holding the exhaust in my hands. But hey, at least the taillights are not broken. Right side to everything. It has really nice wood trim as well. Oh, it's gonna scrape. I might have to jump ship. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, just roll with it. What are you gonna do? Is that it? 
Oh, hold my breath. <laughs> Well, we need to roll up by the tire. The tire's about to pop in a minute. I've never done this before. The driver is actually a really nice fella and helped us push the car inside. So here it is. It landed in my yard. You know, I thought the 8 Series was the worst car I ever got so far, but this is a worthy contender. We have a minor scuff here. That'll buff out. Styling four, original wheels, 15 inch. Are they TRX or normal? 15 inch, thankfully. Headlights look okay, a bit fogged up. The grill is broken. I love the 91 bumper. It's much more aggressive than that one. Fog light, that one is broken. That one is broken as well. This side, well, that's not, Optimal. Oh, it closed. You just have to give it a manly shot. That one is good. Rust. Yep. There it is. How about the front fenders? No bubbling there. That's looking sort of okay. I don't see any rust. But the taillights are in decent order. Ah, the rear windshield is just gone. Do we have rust here? Nope. Down there, negative. All right, so looks like the only exterior rust is on that side. This windshield is shot as well. Too bad. Let's look in the trunk. Yellow. Doesn't want to stay open. All right, so what do we have? Cover for the engine, headlights. Not broken. Fan clutch that's broken. Oh, rear, rear shades. These are super rare for the E32. This is, I'm guessing from a subwoofer. We have a steering box and then PCV, some line, banjo bolts, rear electric sunshade. That's pretty rare. And then there's the ducting for the front. Airbag. What's in here? <laughs> Everything stinks. Bunch of brand new parts. Wipers, hood struts, bumper strut. And, oh yeah. Hello, rust. That is a good amount of rust here. You can actually see it here. Can I just lift it? Let's see what's what. Original spare wheel. Yeah, but as far as I can see here, the floor doesn't look bad. Here you can see the Highline equipment. It's basically luxury options for the rear passengers. You have cocaine tables, fully electric adjustable seats, electric sunshade, I believe, climate control, small table, and I think in the armrest there are also controls. And then fridge should be down there. It also came with two champagne glasses but that's probably not there here's the door panel even has curtains i uh, should have done that go back it will not the big one well it just fell apart in my hand yeah let's let's not touch that bit of rust on the doors here and i'm gonna see if i can show you the interior here's the cocaine tables look at that Brilliant. Oh, look, look how, how neat that is. It just falls in so easily. Beautiful. Then the fridge should be there. I'm going to hold my breath. There are the James Bond controls and a radio. Could be that original radio? Probably not. Take a breath. I want to see the fridge. No, nope, there it is. No glasses. But that's really cool. My E32 doesn't have that. Does that open or slide? Yeah, there you can put champagne glasses. Really cool. Then heated seat, of course. Climate controls. Really neat. Headliner, it's a bit saggy. 
the front more mold what's that that goes underneath the steering wheel memory seats fully electric that does something maybe for the rear curtain edc oh i can this is halfway removed headliner is just awful condition but look at this mirror brilliant dimming auto dimming but seats are in mint condition really beautiful something tells me this car doesn't have a ton of miles because this in theory is just phenomenal look at the door panel well if you subtract the mold the wood trim beautiful rust of course glow box empty and nothing interesting there close it and the seats are in excellent condition let's check out the engine hello good i thought we were going to be missing a bunch of parts but it, everything is complete so everything that's in the trunk is probably spare parts the radiator looks newish 2008 maybe Made in South Africa, original radiator. Power steering reservoir is a bit rusty. Wires, the plastic cover is gone. That's really typical. Valve covers are rusty. There you can see the color code. Brokat Rot Metallic. Brokat Rot Metallic. Whatever, that's just Bordeaux for me. Bit of rust there coming through. Throttle bodies look fresh like they were rebuilt or replaced maybe engine oil super black but full yep nearly full so that's great and it doesn't look like there's water in it coolant dry no coolant transmission fluid black but plenty of it 12 these let's see anything burning oh airbag light is on i wonder why there are signs of life but we can't read the kilometers nada nothing that looks like it's full of water as well so that's good so this is well i guess expected he did tell me that the car is in really bad shape and i can't complain i got it for free so I think it's complete. That's the most important thing. Everything around the engine is there. Interior is beautiful. It needs to clean up, but the seats, the rear compartment, really beautiful looking. Plus it's black, which is really amazing. I love black interiors. Door panels look really nice. The wood trim as well. The mold is not so nice, but I think the next step is to jack it up and see how it looks underneath because that's gonna be the main decisive factor for me if you're going to restore this car or not. If it's completely rusty underneath, like floor, jacking points, all of that, then it just might not make sense. All in all, I'm really happy and thankful to Sir Harm for giving me this car. Buenos dias, it's several hours, days, okay, weeks, and one haircut later. The weather, it's nice. The sun is here and it's burning my freshly trimmed head, hence the hat. But we're gonna crawl and see what lurks underneath this thing. Some additional information, a nice Patreon ran the license plates of the car, which are no longer there, and was able to find out that the last technical inspection expired in 2012. So it's been off the road for around nine years. I also spoke to the previous owner and the car has around 235,000 kilometers, which is not too bad, but he gave up on it because of the rust. And that, well, it's not looking good, fellas. If you know me, then you know I hate rust. I just, I can't stand it. I can't fix it on my own. It's too expensive to hire someone else and it just, it never ends. So I avoid it as much as I can. That being said, we are still going to look underneath and take it from there. Some additional, additional information. It's estimated they made around 5,000 examples of the Highline model for the European and rest of the world market, except North America for whatever reason. It's fairly rare, not many of these pop up for sale and 
it's question how many of these are left on the road. So even if it is a complete rust box, it's probably worth saving. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The interior, it's just completely soaked and probably even moldier than the last time. And I'm thinking, Larry from MONYC, do you want to come to Germany and detail this thing? No? Didn't think so. Anyway, let's bring out the Hugh Jackman. The inside of this luxury automobile, it's like botanical garden. There's stuff growing, there's water. It just needs an intervention or exorcism or something. I can't even begin to describe how badly this smells. And we're just gonna do that. And even if I do decide to work on this thing, the interior first needs sorting. And that means seats, carpets, headliner, door panels, probably even the dashboard needs to come out. And all of that scrubbed and cleaned thoroughly, because this is one of the hardest smells to get out. So that's a job in itself. Anyway, back to getting this thing up in the air. Does it even have a jacking point? Oh no, that's really rusty, actually. Let's see if you hear a crunching sound. You hear the exhaust. I think that's plenty. Put Batman in there just in case. Like that. Get the creeper. It's the fresh one. I think. Yep. That's the water from the interior leaking there. That's excellent. Maybe I just leave it like that. The exhaust, it didn't fix itself. Weird. But you can see rusty jack point. That's really bad. The floor does not look too bad. The middle cats are rusty or lusty as I wanted to say. The exhaust is shot all the way to the cats. And probably in forward, it's dripping oil from the transmission. Oh, there's a bit of rust. Oh, and the frame, that's not good. Oh no, look at the amount of rust over there. The seals are just gone. There as well, as you can see, all of the jacking points are completely rotted. It's gonna need cutting and welding for sure. The frame needs to be treated, that doesn't look terrible, but that's not good either. And I can't even see the rear of it, the subframe in the back looks bad as well. Caliper is rusty, all of the co suspension components are rusty. The sway bar is particularly bad oil leaks this here is rusty oh no that front section over there completely rusty as well inside rust there's just rust everywhere and look how bad a jacking point is over there that's properly bad so i think at one point we need to get this car on the left and then properly assess the condition from underneath but from what i'm seeing right now it just it needs complete stripping and restoration of the body see that's rusty as well the exhaust mounting bracket and i can't see much here but the fuel tank doesn't look horrible but that's probably rusty inside the exhaust done the rear shocks leaking just a tiny bit what's the plan i hear you ask that is a good question and i'm not sure how to answer it to be honest i wish i can tell you let's do it let's do a full restoration on this car but i can't not right now and not with that amount of rust that we just saw we need to put it on the lift have a proper look and then assess the rust but so far all four jacking points front of the car all of that metal brakes suspension exhaust there's probably going to be even more rust once you start taking things apart and in my book, the only proper way to fix that is to entirely strip the chassis, cut when it's cutting, weld when it's welding, whatever. And that's gonna cost a fortune. And besides all of that, it needs complete mechanical overhaul. Interior is disgusting. And in numbers, we're talking 20, 30,000 euros easily. Project Karlsruhe, that car is in a lot better shape than this, and it's still gonna take around 10,000 euros to bring it back to the condition it deserves to be. And this car, is it worth that much? Definitely not. E32s are really, really nice cars, but they are just not there yet. Maybe in a few years. I'm thinking just put it on the side and forget about it. They come back in a year, two, three, maybe even four and do something with it then. Because if, uh, even if I do decide to do a full restoration, 
I'm gonna need space for that because parts are gonna be everywhere and I don't have that right now. So hopefully by then I'll have a bigger garage or something. And uh, I guess that's the plan then. Just sit on it. We'll, we'll get it running at one point as well. I know it has some electrical issues, cluster is taken apart and the owner told me he had some issues with engine computers, DMEs, but it's an M70. How hard can it be to get it running? famous last words. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the mold, the rust, the neglect. It's, it's one of the worst condition cars I've seen in so far. But anyway, it was given to me for free. So thank you very much, Harm, for giving me this car. And I can promise you this, as long as it's with me, this car is not going to die. We'll do something with it. And I'll be back soon. I just bought LCI headlights and taillights for the E60. Few more things and it's ready for German tooth inspection. Project car Zrue, I'm also getting some parts for that. So it's coming soonish but before that i want to get e31 project marseille going kind of interested to see what i'm going to find there also e39 m5 have that as well it's coming out of winter hibernation so we're going to do a service and a really fast blast down the other one without the limiter e46 just did 330i brakes upgrade on it really nice upgrade gonna do control arms 18 inch alloy rims m sport bumpers and i think then i'm probably gonna be bankrupt given how many cars we have here and I'm just spending money left and right on parts. It's just really expensive, especially the E60. And people think YouTubers make a lot of money. Not in Europe, half of my earnings go on tax and auto magical stuff that I can't really see. And I'll see you in the next one. By the way, this, not mine. Only stuff that I present, that's mine. Everything else, not mine.